What's up guys, so now we're back with uh, video two in the series for uh, the ultimate guide to starting FIFA. So now we've had a chance to review all of the capture footage uh, that we, we've had in the last week or so. I've gone through a few videos, asked a few content creators like uh, Matt HD Gamer if we could use screenshots from his video to kind of back up the points I'm going to make in this video. So what I'm going to give you an idea of what to do now we know everything that we're doing, what I want to advise you to do personally is take this approach because I think all of the videos about um, the the catalog and tons of irrelevant points that we've now discovered are no longer relevant aren't applicable to this series so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the points here and then I'm going to give you a quick rundown of everything that I think you should do. Right, as you can see here, you can see that we clearly got... Uh, so this is the new uh, complete objectives layout and everything that you get at the start. So from my knowledge, from everything that I've seen in the footage of all of the capture videos, I've not had the chance to screenshot everything, but I think this is probably the best best recollection of everything that, that I have that I can condense into video. So in as soon as you load up for your first uh, loan player, you get the option of, I believe it's uh, Aubameyang, Dybala or Eriksen. So I imagine most people are going to pick Aubameyang. But once you get past that point, you're going to obviously get your starter packs dependent on the nation you pick. As I mentioned in the last video, I believe that if you want to work towards the advanced SBCs, uh, Brazil is probably your best bet but for the basic SBCs England are probably your best bet so dependent on the way that you want to work this is the way you're going to run your account so as you can see here we've got all these objectives that we've recently discovered uh, top up contracts uh, it's basically re really simple objectives and it gives you coins back so via doing the bronze pack method and buying players off of the market for your SBCs they all actually interject and they actually all work alongside each other and give you the opportunity to just slowly gradually improve your club so you get 150 coins for topping up your contracts and then uh, for this whole set as as you can see here you get a, a silver pack which is going to help you towards future SBCs you never know you might put a, a, a silver rare from the Premier League or so, somewhere that's in an SBC or actually helps you Either way, I believe working your way of unlocking your basic objectives, first of all, so, so do that, work your way through, then move on to the gameplay. So as we see here, we've got basic chemistry, place a player in your squad adjacent to another player that shares the same nation club league, this will increase their chemistry. Straight away, you get a gold reward pack from that. A gold reward pack will tend to have a fitness card, a contract, a player, and a ball. I think those are the four items, if I can remember correctly this is all straight from logging in so we we know straight away what to expect here and then there's another really simple one here where you just you just change your club name gives you another 150 150 coins back so these 150 coins these silver packs these bronze packs these uh, gold packs that they're giving you are slowly stacking up in your club and giving you a bit of bit of a boost which is what I think is probably best for you to do here and as we know now, you actually, this this time around, you actually get rewarded for listing players on the transfer market. To me, that indicates that they're looking to obviously acknowledge the traders and the grinders amongst us, which is which is always a good thing. And you can always, always tell that uh, f things are changing year upon year. So you can see here, you list one player, you buy a player, you list two players, you list four players. Uh, each of these are worth 250 coins each. And when you, we, uh, when you finish, you get 500 coins. So straight away there, you've got 1,500 from a set. And if you're doing bronze pack method, all of this XP is working you towards higher levels. So the next point I'm going to bring you to. Is, so as you can see here, we're, we're all ultimately working towards season rewards, objectives, foundations, milestones across the board. And for every single thing that you unlock is going to bring you up a... a a, uh, a level so to say so from my understanding I believe it takes 1000 XP per level so for you to go from uh, level 1 to level 2 that's obviously 1000 XP within those and if you actually look here you, you notice that you can it takes finesse and these are all examples but they are basically in alignment with what, what we saw here 
So you, you've obviously gonna slowly start getting your XP there, but what, what I've actually noticed it, it says season objectives are longer than longer term challenges to finish and from time to time they are put live, they will remain live until the last day of the season. So from obviously leveling up previously in your first uh, objectives and your daily objectives, I believe from what I've seen in the videos, daily objectives are worth 600p per day. So per day you can basically half level up if that makes sense. You can make make your way uh, halfway there to, to the next video and then you, then you can go from there. And uh, another thing that I want to touch on is obviously we've seen um, squad battles mentioned a lot and people said that you could play up to four games a day and everything. But obviously now we know that's not the case. Now we know that it's actually going to work out this way. So as you can see here, we've got uh, we've got details of the, the squad battle changes and there's a brand new interface. That's basically face level, but it is, it is actually a nicer layout, but that's not the main point we're getting at here. So it says, the way in which squads are refreshed in squad battles are changed for FIFA 20. Instead of a time refresh where you obviously had to wait a time period, now you can refresh your squad battles games whenever you like. So what I'm going to suggest you to do here is if the game comes out on Thursday EA access and we've missed uh, the division rivals window to generate uh, XP and points to get you into division rivals brackets what I would suggest is put all of your focus on uh, squad battles and grind out as many games as you can so the just just to clarify if it comes out on EA access comes out on Wednesday proceed with uh, division rivals and your placement games instead if it comes out on Thursday as we expect do uh, work on your squad battles because what I believe here is now obviously there's gonna be there's gonna be teams on there which are like 60 chem 72 rated and then there's gonna be big teams which is like 86 rated and a hundred chem if you've got a, a, a small squad and you, you don't know if you can beat those teams, what I would advise you to do is just, if you've got, say for example, you've got a 75 rated non-rare starter team, and for you to obviously rank up to elite, you have to beat these sides. If you aren't kind of familiar with the game and you don't actually play it religiously, say this is your first or second year, I would advise you to get your smaller games done, beat them on a legendary, get as many points as you can, and refresh if that's completely dependent on you if you think that your skill level is high enough to where you can beat them then obviously go ahead with that but I don't think as a, as a smart decision for starting out I, I don't really think you should put that much pressure on yourself at the start because we know how stressful the game can be when there's dodgy decisions that go against you and we all know some, the things that happen in squad battles can be rigged from time to time so what I'm going to suggest is you've got 45 games from Wednesday or Thursday, hypothetically, however it comes out. And then it's 12 minutes a game, roughly. Those those minutes are slowly going to add up. If you're wasting your time playing against the, the higher rated squads when you know it's not really in your best interest to do that, I would, I would advise you not to do that. Just reset, move on, move on to the next games and beat the squads that are lower than you or roughly about your level where you believe you can test yourself i really wouldn't spend your 10 hours or eight hours depending on how much time you get grinding this to a point where you're getting stressed and you're losing to the ai because it's, it's not going to be good in the long run for you i, d I don't think that that's, that's going to really give you any proper enjoyment so that's that's my opinion on that point so it's yeah so so in summary i believe that your ea access hours should be used towards gameplay for division rivals placements games division rivals games if you've got the chance to unlock rewards within a 24 hour frame um also whether you should be able to unlock the kind of games as you go that's that's probably going to be uh the best bet i think if you've got 10 hours Ultimately, there probably will be an EA access glitch, but we're, we're not really going to talk about that at the moment. But I think I think moving forwards, I think I think the best thing for you to do is work towards short term goals. The whole point of EA access is to make the most of that limited time window 
that you've got and from from there on obviously work your way towards the rewards that are coming out on the next day if it's division rivals and then the sunday if it's ea access ultimately i, th I think that's probably going to be the best route for you to take um as i mentioned in the last video don't touch sbcs on on the on the game itself do those on the app the companion app and the web app will all be out by that point so any time that you spend trading on the the console i understand the interface is better and you can snipe quicker but i believe the the long-term benefits of that and losing your time uh playing the menus versus actually get, getting yourself towards a goal which is going to give you a good reward set for um everything that we can get in division rivals and squad battles i think that's probably i think that's probably your best bet and that's the best way for you to work towards it so this summer this video is just a quick brief uh, explanation of everything that we've learned from all of the footage that's come out in the last few days and what i'm going to say to you now is just kind of use everything that i've referenced in this video uh work towards it if you feel that you can obviously do better and maybe you can unlock more things then go ahead and do that but i think the advice that i'm giving you in this video is really simple and most of you probably know this by now and you've kind of devised a way for you to go forwards and how, how you're going to do it but i just wanted to make this video quickly so that you guys could get a complete brief explanation now after we know what we know and every, everything that's come out since then so that, that that's basically going to be a, a quick summary of this video and then the next one that i bring out will be uh based on starter sbcs and how to use them to to work within the market and to generate coins and obviously that will be purely dependent on uh, web app because I, as I mentioned, I don't, I don't want you to do that on EA Access. So that's going to be the summary for this video. And then I'll probably see you tomorrow or yeah, I, th I think tomorrow will be tomorrow will be the next one tomorrow evening. But aside from that, I'll see you later.